Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am so excited because I am working on four projects using Artisa products. These products were sent to me by Artisa and they are amazing. These wood slices are just so perfect for me and for my style of projects. I love the farmhouse rustic look and these are perfect for it when I received them and I opened them let me tell you the quality of them are absolutely beautiful and they are all just right around the same size in diameter they are all the same thickness the outside is very rustic and then the top uh, or both sides are just absolutely smooth they already have a pre-drilled hole which is so convenient and it comes with jute twine, which is perfect. They also sent me this pack or this box of 36 uh, metallic acrylic paints. I was beyond impressed. Look how beautiful this looks. Just the packaging itself. They are individually or, you know, uh, nice and nicely organized by color tones and you can just use them, you know, lay them out, use them, and then put them right back in and put them back in into the box. I, I'm absolutely impressed, I love them, and I cannot wait to show you what I did with these products. Again, I am bringing you today four projects, and uh, in a little bit, I'll give you a little bit more information um, on uh, some things that you can benefit from. So for now, I am just going to get started. All right, so for the first project, I am taking four of the wood slices and I am going to fill in the little hole uh, with some wood filler. This wood filler, I um, it color changes. So when it is fully dry, it'll change from pink to a wood tone. So I'm just gonna uh, fill them and I'm not gonna have to sand it down or anything because it's so small that I, I was able to just fill it and smooth it out with my finger and then um, let it dry. Once they were fully dry, I am using the pearl white tone and um, I'm going to paint over the uh, just the one side. I did end up doing two coats, so um, uh, just for purposes of having it to be a little bit a little bit more um, solid color. But I want to tell you how smooth this paint was going on this wood slices. I loved the texture and how it felt. I love how it just overall it looked. Very, very happy with it. After the paint was fully dry, I then took a stencil that I have had. Um, I don't I actually don't remember where I got this stencil because it was one of my very first stencils that I purchased I've used them in several of my projects but I'm gonna just use one of the little flowers on one of the ends and I am going to place it towards one side of the wood slice now I am using my sharpie to just trace it and fill it in and um, I think it's gonna make them look really really cute these are actually going to be coasters as a gift for my daughter's uh, school teacher so I'm really really excited after they were fully dry after I was done with all four of them I sprayed them over with some rust-oleum top coats in a matte clear to seal everything in because there are going to be coasters look how cute these look so stunning I love the way they look and I think it's gonna look or I think the teacher is gonna love them this is how I wrapped them up with some jute twine and a little bit of a greenery leaf there and I think it looks super super cute All right, guys, so I want to talk to you a little bit more about the Artisa products. And so for today, I have, or Artisa has given you a 10% off coupon. There's going to be a code linked down below that you can use if you are interested in using these products 
or any one of their products because they carry a wide variety of arts and crafts colors so or products so i want to invite you to visit my the description box down below uh there is some links for us uh, and also for the uk and then also if you are looking for any inspiration for projects whether it's painting on canvases whether it's diy projects for home decor whatever you would be looking for there is inspiration in their youtube channel and so i have also linked that link in the description box below so when you're done with this video take a look at that description box visit those links and if anything that you would like to get this is the time to get it they are having some december sales and again you get that 10 percent off uh, using the code below all right so on to my next project these are going to be some gift bag or some tags for gifts i am using another stencil this stencil is from the dollar tree and i am using the color pearl raspberry and again i am using only half the flower and to the side look how cute that looks i love it i didn't have to do two coats for this one because i thought the one was absolutely perfect and then for the other one i'm making two today i am again using the pearl white and i am using the stencil also with the snowflake also only about three quarters of the stencil and then i am doing it to the side as well for that one i did do two coats now i'm using some of the jute twine that came with the wood slices i cut it um i want to say it was maybe about a foot long i tied it so that when it lays on the gift it lays flat so i just made a regular knot and then i'm going to tie it to a gift and i'm going to use it as a tag now you can choose to write on it to and from you can write on it maybe the date the year i've decided to leave it as is and add a separate little tag because i thought this could be a cute ornament for them to keep for next year look how stunning that looks All right guys, so for my third project, I am doing a winter themed wreath. Uh, you know that I love my wreaths and I have several places that I am looking to add some for this winter. Um, so I took an old uh, grapevine wreath that I had, I've used for other projects. I'm going. It's a little thicker on one side and thinner on the other. So I am going to add the decor on the kind of like the middle part of it where the, 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 the thicker part meets the thinner part and I am using some leftover wintry kind of style decor that I had from my Christmas this uh, pick here I got at the Dollar General for two dollars I've used it in some other projects I'm going to add a couple of those uh, picks there as well some of them I'm hot gluing some of them it doesn't need to because it's nice and secure and then of course I am using the wood slices for this decor because it, they just look absolutely perfect for any style decor but preferably but specifically for my style I, I think it's just absolutely perfect I'm hot gluing I ended up hot gluing a couple and uh, adding some decorations here and there for a beautiful wreath And look how stunning this wreath looks. Those wood slices just absolutely gives it a beautiful, beautiful, rustic, natural look.
All right, guys, so for my next and fourth and final project, I am using the wood slices once again, and I am using a different stencil. This stencil I got, I want to say it was at Pacatan's when they were still here, and uh, I am going to use my Sharpie once again to uh, trace out the word believe, and I am going to, once again, just kind of uh, do it towards the bottom right side of each wood slice making sure that the pre-drilled hole is always facing up. I am going to make a cute little banner for my daughter's room. We, are been, we have been redoing her room here and there, just doing a few things, and this will look super cute with her decor. So I spelled out the word believe, and now I am using the same stencil I used earlier. And this time I'm going to use uh, another little flower and uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to use the pearl turquoise for this one she is into the teal tone colors right now so I am going to once again just use about half of the flower and I'm going to stencil it I'm not going to add them to all of the wood slices I'm just going to add uh, to about three of them skipping one in between This color is absolutely beautiful. I, it only needed one coat and it just goes on so beautiful and using the stencil is really good to work with. All right, so now I am adding some of the jute twine that came with the wood slices to create the banner. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with the last letter and then I am going to tie it in a knot so that the letter doesn't move around or roll down on me and I'm not going to do a, a thick knot um, just you know making sure that it's nice and secure so that um, again the letter does not move and then I'll do that to all of them leaving about it ends up about being two to two and a half inches from knot to knot, but in between wood slice to wood slice, it ends up being just about, I would say about a half inch or so. And that does it. Look how beautiful this looks I placed it right underneath the wreath because it was already there of course it's gonna go in her room but I just think it just absolutely it looks absolutely stunning all right guys so this is it for today I hope you enjoyed this video I want to give a big thanks to Artisa for the products they supplied us and or supplied me and for the um, wonderful 10% uh, off coupon that they have given you so check out the link or the box below visit their links and take advantage of that coupon if you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so, and I hope you have a blessed day, everyone.